So many people use Prusa Slicer as their main slicer, and it is a fantastic piece of software. The current version is 2.6, but they're working on the 2.7 version. The first alpha of that is out right now. There are a couple of things that are really nice in this new alpha and will be big for some Prusa Slicer users, but there's one feature that is going to be absolutely killer, and it's something that I've hoped for for a long time. The thing that they're adding is the ability to cancel a single object during a print. This is huge because most of the problems printing something that's got multiple pieces is a single piece failing, and that ruins the the rest of the print bed. This news is so exciting that my cat wanted to come and give you some of the news himself. So in Octoprint, which is the combination of hardware and software that you can use to run your printer, there's a plugin called the Cancel Object Plugin. What that will let you do is, in the Octoprint interface, pick a thing that is being printed incorrectly and cancel that. It's also in printers like the Bamboo X1 series of printers, where you can just stop the thing that isn't printing well and save the rest of your plate. This is coming to Prusa directly through the Clipper interface. And so if you have one of the newer printers running Clipper, you will be able to cancel an object on the print. And he's gone. So many printers these days are coming with Clipper, which is sort of the operating system for the printer. Clipper is faster and more powerful than the operating systems and firmware that used to be running printers, and you can find it in a lot of newer printers like the Neptune 4 and the 4 Max, and I have reviews to those, which there'll be a playlist for right here. Now this was already available in Prusa Slicer for the previous Merlin-based firmware, but now it's available for Clipper, and I think because more and more people are getting Clipper printers, this is something that's going to be really important to them going forward. I'm going to download and try the 2.71 Alpha and let you know how it goes, but I'm really excited to see that this feature is in there and excited to see some of the other under-the-hood things in Prusa Slicer. If you want to download Prusa Slicer, there will be links to it down below, as well as links to my other reviews of 3D printers. As always, for Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss. Thanks so much for giving this a try.